When you have to navigate across country, you can pretty much guarantee you're going to come across obstacles such as water. You'll see in these few clips that we begin teaching in shallow water in order to learn the correct techniques before progressing to deeper water. At around a thigh or waist deep for most people, and even though this was August, the force of the water is still quite powerful and the cold takes your breath away. River crossings, even in the safest of training environments, will still pose some risk and it's especially important that we learn the correct technique whilst in the shallow water to begin with. You can see here, we're using a long sturdy pole as a third leg to cross as individuals, making certain that we are looking upstream in case any debris is coming down towards us, such as bushes or trees, that could be uprooted in flash floods originating perhaps many miles away in the hills. You will see us also crossing as a group, using each other as support by rotating around the base. That's the person who's stationary and looking upstream for the same reasons we've just mentioned. This gives observation and stability for those others who can concentrate on getting a good footing before rotating and another becomes the base. When we start to get into deeper water, the correct technique becomes even more apparent as the rocky bottom to the river here is especially slippery and the chances of losing footing and being taken down in the current is quite high if we get it wrong. Because river crossing carries a risk it's only done practically on the advanced course, and when the weather's cold and bad, it's not easy to motivate the guys for an hour of cold wet training. However, when the sun is shining and they haven't had a shower or bath for a week, it's almost impossible to get them out. If you want to learn more about this, why not check out the website or email the office. <laughs>